Hey guys, good day. James at Fletch Lives Daily. Uh, today is my daily vlog. I don't do a daily vlog every day. That's kind of what daily means. But I do a couple of week maybe, if you're lucky. And then everything else that I do that's of interest, I will throw on there as well. So if you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I don't have all these little signs and monikers on the video telling you to subscribe. But I hope you subscribe. I'm just trying to build up my followers. Well, anyway, I'm at work today, kind of finishing up my, my workout here next to a busy highway. So if it gets a little noisy, that's what that's all about. Today's vlog is concerning my future. And it's called uh, putting your eggs in one basket. So, when is the time to make that decision and change your life? The decision I'm thinking about is getting a different house. I raised my family in our current house. It's paid off. I have no debt. And there's another house I've been looking at. It's, it's on my other vlogs, videos that you've seen. And I'm really interested in the house. And I had my house appraised the other day. I won't know the official appraisal until Monday, but it's looking good. Problem is, I gotta have somebody buy the house. I don't wanna sit on it for too long. Well, you know, just waiting for people to gain interest and pay what it's worth. But this house that I'm interested in is a really cool house, custom home, three stories on a lake. And if I don't jump on it now, I'm gonna regret it. Because I know if I decide to sell it in eight years, because that's all the time I want to put into it, then more than likely, I'll get my money back. Problem is, I gotta put a lot of money into it right now just to make it the way I want it. They're not willing to work with me on this, so. Pardon my hair. So, do I put all my eggs in one basket and go for it? Or not? I'm not really a risk taker, but at the same time, I do have some cash saved up, and as I said, I have no debts. The only thing is, I just gotta wait to sell my house. And while I'm waiting, I have to pay homestead exemption on it. I gotta pay insurance on the new home, taxes on the new home, as well as fix it up the way I need to. So there's gonna be a lot of cash coming in and out, and I'm not getting a lot of overtime right this second, but as I said, I got a nice little nest egg built up. And it's encouraging when you watch these flip it flop it home shows. It's encouraging to see that you can get something out of everything if you manage it the right way. So, do I take the risk and go for it or not? The only risk I'm really taking is a time risk. Not really a money risk, but it's a time risk because I'll have to wait to sell my house. Sometimes that's not easy to do. But I think in the end, it'll be worth it. And if I get close for my house, what this other house is actually worth right now, I'll be a happy camper. And I'll be glad to put a few extra dollars into the house and live in it as, as I want to. My brother in Michigan, he thinks I should go ahead and do it. He, he's a chance taker and the only way you're gonna make money is if you take chances. So I kind of look, look at his advice in a very positive manner. Plus, I deal on the side with him, too, up in Michigan with a couple of properties. So I trust him. But at this time, it's almost like putting all my eggs in one basket. Again, do I want to start over? You know, we all like the house, but it's starting over. i got to do everything to the house that I did to my house that I'm trying to sell. And if I sell this house, I'm breaking even, essentially, as far as when I purchase the new home. Sure, well I make 50 grand on the house ultimately. If I sell it, yes. But that 50 grand's already come and gone and it would be going towards this new house. So I gotta hope in eight years, I don't have to do anything else to it and sell it as is. So we'll see what happens. Who is that? That's kind of weird. 
I've never seen anybody walking by themselves on this side of the road. She needs a ride. I can't give her a ride. I'm on duty right now. So anyway, chime in if you can. Send me a couple questions or answers. I'm really looking for answers to my questions about this topic. My feeling is I really need to jump on it before it's too late. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to sell the house, get out from underneath it. But I don't think that's going to be the case. So anyway, as I said, if you like the vlog, subscribe. If you don't like the vlog, go ahead and subscribe also. And we could banner back and forth. So I'm sorry we got interrupted. I had a couple calls today and forgot to finish up the vlog. I wanted to finish up. We were talking about uh, just sending questions so we could have question and answer, banter back and forth about this, today's topic, which was my house. It's been a few hours, so I kind of forgot what I was talking about. But the sun's setting now, as you can see right behind me. Beautiful. And please chime in and let me know what you think about my house issue. Like I said, it's pretty important for me to figure out what I'm going to do with this whole situation. I just want to make the right decision. I'd like to get some input. So uh, from James at Fletch Lives Daily, remember life is good.